Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I finally shaved. Well, I trimmed it. Anyway, today we are, oh, I'm Miss Rossana's Daily Rambles. <laughs> today we're doing Arrow. We're doing season three, episode 19, and the episode is called Broken Arrow. And this was a doozy, if you can look from all those notes right here. So, we start off with this weirdness at the bank. Um, there's a guy with the eye. And he shoots beams out of him and literally kills people. And it's like literally crazy. So he breaks into a bank and there's a media storm with Roy. And then we cut to where Laurel got the paperwork to let Ollie Oliver go. And there's awkward, there's awkward awkwardness <laughs> with Ray and Felicity. I just want to leave that in. So... And then uh, we have Oliver and Roy talk, and he still feels guilty about the cops, so that's why he wants to do this, and that's why he did it in the first place. And then we have a flashback scene where uh, Maceo and Oliver go to find Waller. Then we jump back to the present day where Malcolm and Oliver talk. And then we have the SCPD get into the lair. They lit so they have the club talking, and the p police come in with a warrant, and they go down to the basement and get into the lair. But only Roy's prints are there. No one else's prints are present, which is kind of crazy. And we cut to go to uh, Ray for help because about the metahuman. Then we have the flashback scene where Waller got set up, and she does not look too good. And then we have the army wants to infect Hong Kong because they want to basically disable their um, their stocks and their assets and stuff so the U.S. can take over that and be the one, number one in charge. That's basically what they're trying to go for for that. So that's why they want to fed people in Hong Kong because, you know, with the population down and everything else is down, the U.S. can swoop in and be number one. So... But then we go back to the present day where uh, Thea goes to see uh, Roy at prison. It's a little touching moment because it was just a little sweet little moment there between her and, and him. And then we have Ray goes after the metahuman, but uh, Ray gets beaten, but he does manage to escape because he's trying. He's relying too much on the actual suit and not on himself. So that's his main issue. And then there's a prison fight, uh, which uh, Roy obviously wins that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we have Oliver and Felicity argue. And then we have a flashback scene where they give the vaccine uh, to the antidote, uh, to, the, uh, to the virus. Then we have the present day where Lance and Roy talk. Then Team Arrow plant trap for the metahuman, and but uh, it kind of backfires a little bit because Felicity gets kidnapped by the metahuman, but Felicity does get away from a person, and then uh, Ray rescues her, but was uh, control, uh, but it was at first controlled by the. Um, it was like a cybernetic uh, link to Roy suit to Oliver Queen and back at. Um, Palmer Tech. So he was fighting at first, but the connection got severed. And then Roy started to believe in himself and believe in the suit because that's like a decision of himself because he's a very tech person and was able to knock him out. Then uh, Ray gets stabbed at the prison and dies. Like a lot of blood fell out, like blood out. And then uh, then we cut to Oliver, who gets the news and is very beside himself, and he doesn't know what to do. And then uh, Roy pops up, and he basically faked his death, because there's this Argus agent that knows how to sass someone in a particular way, to make it look like you bled out, but you didn't really. And that um, they gave him a pill to make, um, call it like the, it's like a sleeper death thing, because, like, um sleep because they just slow your heart rate till it almost looks like you're dead but you're not. 
So, um, so then Roy is starting over and he gets a new identity. Then you be cut to a flashback scene where they create a plan to stop the to stop Streve, which is the army guy who's in orchestrated this whole thing for Hong Kong. And then on the present day, they put um, uh, they they decide to call him Death Bolt, <laughs> and then so they um, put him back in they put him in Star Labs, and he doesn't know he's a metahuman. <laughs> Uh, and then we have Ross shows up at Thea's, and they fight, and he stabs Thea, and she's bleeding out, which is kind of crazy. And that's what really this episode. So, um, really good episode. I guess A plus because we actually get to see interactions between for the metahuman and um and Star C Starling City. So that, that's actually pretty cool. And how they how they counteract with them compared to how Team Flash does it. So it's very interesting little dynamics there. And just everything, like I said about this episode, we're starting to build it up to the finale. So I like what's coming up. So um, I like this episode. I give it an A plus, And that's what I'm doing for this video. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Comment down below. And subscribe for more stuff. If you want me to do other shows, please let me know down there. Down there. <laughs> I'm pretty open on what shows I watch. I mean, I, I mean, if you want me to do comedy shows, I can do that. I'm currently watching How How I Met Your Mother, but I'm already on season three. I've been watching a lot of TV. Like, a lot. Anyway, um, that's for... I'm starting to dive into my other channel. I'm glad I just saw about random stuff. Anyway, so I want y'all to have a super duper awesome day, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye, everybody.